just felt to uh, have a special meeting uh, during the week for those who are sick with coronavirus. I want to say that uh, in this meeting, I see you healed. I see you healed. I see you healed. I see you healed. Praise God. Jeremiah 33, verse 6. Now listen to this. Behold, behold, I will bring it health and healing. Coronavirus is that it. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I'm talking to you. I will bring, behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them. I will heal them. Put your hand on your chest and say, he will heal me. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to, the, to them the abundance of peace and truth. That's God's promise to you today. I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. You see, Jesus, by his blood, heals us, and his blood atones for sin and therefore, and therefore has dealt with sickness, which is ultimately the consequence of sin. When Jesus Christ shed his blood, blood on the cross he atoned for your sin i will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me therefore you are healed because the blood has atoned for your sin mark 2 verse 17 jesus said those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. You have come today because you are sick and you are in need of the physician, Jesus Christ. He is here to heal you. Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus Christ, you know, he's looking out at the, the crowd and he sees those who have repented of their sins, who are righteous. And he says, I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus comes in a special way to sinners he comes in his compassion for sinners to call them to righteousness jesus heals the body he heals coronavirus and he also heals the soul by bringing the soul out of sin atoning for sin with the blood of jesus forgiving the sinner that is the greatest healing right now i want to say to you that jesus loves you jesus loves you to heal your body to save your soul from sin and death and hell and punishment of sin for the wages of sin is death but the free gift of god the free gift is eternal life for god so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not die, but have eternal life. Is there sin in your life that is grieving our Lord Jesus Christ? 
the Bible tells us what sin is. It also tells us a way out. There is a way out of sin by confessing our sin, repenting of it, and putting our faith in Jesus Christ. I want to invite you right now to confess your sins. Tell God, is it, is it that internet addiction, pornography? Are you living out of wedlock with someone? It's called fornication. Are you in adultery? Are you involved in the occult, in the new age, in witchcraft, in any of its forms, whether it be horoscopes, re having people read your palms, tell your future? Do you hold unforgiveness and resentment? God will not forgive you unless you forgive others. That's what Jesus tells us, instructs us. Because he died on the cross to forgive. When you, when you hold unforgiveness to others, you deny the power of the cross for your own forgiveness. So I want to invite you. God loves you. He sent the Savior Jesus to die on the cross for you. Confess your sins. Do you have a bad mouth? Are you gossiping, slandering people, getting angry at people, lashing out at people? Ask him to forgive you and to turn from your sin, genuine repentance. So right now, let's begin to confess our sins. Just confess them. Confess them. Confess them. Lord Jesus, we confess our sins right now. We confess them. We bring the darkness of sin into the light of Jesus, and we repent. We turn to Christ. We repent. Lord Jesus, come into our hearts. Forgive our sins and cleanse us from all iniquity. I want to... Um, I want to declare, Jesus said, those whom you forgive are forgiven. I want to declare that if you've repented today and put your faith in Jesus Christ, I want to declare that you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Behold, the Lord says in Jeremiah 33, verse 7, he says, I will cleanse them from all their iniquity by which they have sinned against me. If you have repented, you are washed clean by the blood of Jesus. You are forgiven. I think it's Psalm 103. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, all his blessings to you. Don't forget them. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Getting an echo. Who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction who crowns you with loving kindness. Thank you, Jesus, who satisfies your youth like the eagles. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless. If someone lift their hand and say, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Isn't he good? Isn't he good? Thank you, Lord. 